I'm starting to think Sandy is watching me. Here, boy. Have something to wet your teeth on. Freshly confiscated mutton, just for you. Have at it. Just checking on my best guardsman. He's helping the men to learn healthy respect and how to run. So good to see you, champion. I appreciate your assistance, Champion. Thank you for coming, Champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire, which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her, but I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. What are they doing? All I know is numerous mages have left the circle at night, sometimes for days at a time. I'd rather not follow our knight commander by leaping to the worst possible conclusion. But the idea of blood magic has crossed my mind. You need some assistance against traitors in your ranks. Traitors? Perhaps. Rebels? Certainly. I don't know if they seek Congress with demons or merely a walk in the moonlight. Walking's not so bad. Even mages need exercise. All I know is that a meeting is happening tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. I'll see what they're up to. There's no point in involving the Templars. Thank you. 
Your support has been a lifeline for me. Just learn the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not. Or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment. Someone's coming. The champion. We know you're spying for Orsino. Run. We'll handle this. Shall we go to the warehouse? Try to find their leadership.
I told you she was hunting us. No, not her. I can't do this. I told them not to do it, I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping. Not after what I went through. What are you talking about? They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about, as a hostage. We just got word they took one of the Templar apprentices. A lad named... Carla. Just tell me where they went. I can't waste any time. They left for the ruins on the wounded coast. We have a kind of base there. They, they should have just talked to you. I know you're a reasonable person. You have to see how dangerous Meredith is. Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. Do you mean the Templar, Thrask? You've worked with him. He's a good man. You should help us, not fight us. All we want is someone sane in Meredith's place. What are you going to do to Thrask? To me? This isn't going to end well. If I were you, I'd stay out of range. Thank you. I'm really sorry you were the one. I'll go to Marsha, try to wait this out. I don't think I can serve the Templars while Meredith is still in charge.
You've been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. Are you part of this plot against Meredith? You could say so. That bitch threw me out of the Templars for carrying letters from a mageling to his sweetheart. She's got her sword so far up her ass, she can cut you with her tongue. Shouldn't you be in with the rest of them? I'd hoped with Meredith gone, I could take up the shield again. But maybe she was right. Give them a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Your friends are right. Without Meredith, Kirkwall can be at peace again. Is it that simple? I'd cheer to see her ship to Val Royo. But I don't have the stomach to turn against all that's right and natural to do it. I suppose it was too much to hope that he wouldn't have come here. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When you fought off Karas's thugs to save those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. I will not negotiate until Carver is standing beside me. I will not harm your brother. We will release him the moment I have your word that you will support us. No. The boy dies. Then the champion. Stand down, Grace. Grace, do you really want to do this? After everything we've done for you? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith. What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. Whatever you want, just tell me. Decimus was right. There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. I thought you turned your back on blood magic when you saw what happened to Decimus. You don't know what it's like. We're locked in our cells all day, no light, no air. The Templars ask things of us. When Thrask offered a chance to make a better circle, I had to take it. But... Grace, this isn't right. Meredith's to blame for what's happening, not the champion. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion.
I tried to stay away from her, you know, after Decimus. But the circle here is worse than Starkhaven ever was. It seemed like hers was the only way out. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold him. There's no other way to wake him up. <coughs> Get out of my... What? Where am I? I promise. I'll never let anything like this happen again. Thank you, sister. It seems I am again in your debt. And shadow. They're meeting in here, Sir Callan. Oh, I guess you didn't get on so well with these mages as you thought. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The Champion's a fine lady, sir. She wanted to solve this peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. The boy stood up to his elders when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hmm. <laughs> you mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, Champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, Champion? She should consider reinstating Samson. When it came down to it, he showed where his heart is. True. Samson, you have done us a great service. Do you wish to take up the shield once more? M more than anything, Knight Captain, sir. Then I'll see what I can do. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
Take a look at this. A blade of mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hussarion used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. I thought it might be worth something. It is. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. You don't talk about the Imperium much. It's not a place I remember fondly. I'd like you to have it. For me? Yes. I think I'd like that. I'll think of the irony as I wield it. Thank you, Hawk. You know, you could go anywhere you like now. I'm aware of that. Oh, you could become a raider. You could join my crew. The crew of your non-existent ship? Well, with that attitude, you're never going anywhere, are you? She doesn't understand. Yes, I am free. Denarius is dead. Yet, it doesn't feel like it should. You thought killing him would solve everything, but it doesn't. I suppose not. I thought if I didn't need to run and fight to stay alive, I would finally be able to live as a free man does. But how is that? Whatever past I had died with my sister. I have nothing now. Not even an enemy. Maybe that just means there's nothing holding you back. Hmm. An interesting thought. It's just... difficult to overlook the stain that magic has left on my life. If I seem bitter, it's not without cause. Perhaps it is time to move forward. I just don't know where that leads. Do you? That's the point, isn't it? You can do anything you like. The future of a slave is never uncertain. But I am no longer a slave. Perhaps it is time I remember that. Thank you, Hawk. I would never have thought to call a mage my friend. Yet here you are. Wherever the future leads, I hope it is at your side. Your mage Templar group was conspiring to overthrow Meredith. I have a sudden deep regret I interfered. <sighs> you know, I was half convinced Meredith had engineered the whole thing to trick me into incriminating myself. If Meredith stays in charge, she'll run Kirkwall into the ground. Speak softly, friend. There is nowhere safe to say those words. But be assured, you are not the only one thinking them. Please accept this as my thanks. It will be of more value to you right now than my friendship.
look at this. My own sun shield and all the lyrium I can quaff. You've done me a good one. There's a letter for you. Strange how the messages never come while you're home. 